Hi, welcome to Mondays with Maggie. I'm Maggie Craddock, author and founder of Workplace Relationships, and we're creating this series to help people create a personal action plan for navigating their lives and careers as we all go through the COVID-19 crisis. And as part of this, we're responding to questions from people that seem to summarize what many people are going through in their lives and careers. And here's a question from Cynthia that summarizes what I'm hearing from a lot of people this week. She writes, Maggie, while working from home, my husband and I are starting to feel stir crazy trying to keep our kids settled and figuring out how to pay our bills at the same time. What can we do to maintain a safe emotional space in our home while we try to focus during all of this pressure? Cynthia, it's a fantastic question. And it goes to the heart of what we all have to bear in mind in order to create an effective action plan at a time like this. Because you see, we have to manage the internal pressures that are bubbling up inside us before we can focus strategically on tackling the external challenges in front of us. Any effective strategic action plan has to bear in mind that we naturally go through a series of four stages as we respond to unexpected change. And the sequence of these stages are, is very important. The first one is the awareness stage, the second one is the emotional ownership stage. The third one is the interaction stage. And the fourth one is the integration stage. Cynthia, you and I are both in the awareness stage right along with everybody else. We need to focus clearly on what's happening in the present moment. And one of the things we all need to remain aware of is we can't get through a crisis of this magnitude alone. When we're in contact with other people, we're doing a lot more than sharing thoughts and words. We're actually helping each other keep things in perspective. We're getting vital feedback we need to keep ourselves on course. And in many ways, this helps us emotionally regulate ourselves. Here's an exercise we can all start with to help us develop the skills we need to navigate this crisis and beyond. And that's think of three or four people that you probably already reached out to for perspective in your life and career, or maybe they've reached out to you. And make a commitment to be in touch with them on a weekly basis and get some feedback targeted as to whether or not you're being true to yourself under pressure. And what I mean by that is focus on questions like, do I sound like I'm being emotionally honest or do I seem to be avoiding feelings that I don't know how to deal with right now? When I'm thinking about a difficult situation or a difficult person, do I sound fair? Or am I looking at this in a way that may have the situation out of perspective? Or am I being clear about my own motives in this type of situation? If I'm not, why not? You see, people that are in our network that we can be emotionally honest with are actually on our lifeboat with us. In my upcoming book, Lifeboat, I talk about this shared sense of unity that takes place when people pull together through the course of a crisis that really amplifies the hope, the perspective, and the strength that they all have to draw on as individuals. As we go through this, remember, this is not a self-help period. This is an us-help period. I'd love to hear everybody's feedback about how this works for them, who's on their lifeboat, and next week we're going to be dealing with another facet of the awareness stage, which is the importance of the conversations you're having with yourself.